Uh, ever, actually, every 12 years, Jupiter goes around the sun. Its orbit around the sun every, is every 12 years. Saturn, the next planet out, is has further to go, and it's moving slower because it's tugged around less strongly by the force of the sun's gravity. And so Saturn is quite a bit slower. Saturn takes 30 years to go around the sun when Jupiter takes 12 years. So every 20 years, Jupiter is going to pass Saturn in its orbit. And you can imagine this just being like runners on the track. You're standing there at the center, and you've got a fast runner on the inside track, and they're overtaking and passing the slower runners going further on the outside track. And that's exactly what's happening in our solar system this week. In this diagram here, you can see the you can see Jupiter as it's uh, approaching Saturn. And then uh, from our perspective on Earth, uh, you'll see it lined up almost in exactly the same place in the sky. Now, usually every 20 years when Jupiter overtakes Saturn in its orbit, it passes about a degree apart from Saturn in the sky. And the degree is a, about twice the width of the full moon. So you can see them separated very widely in the sky, about like PA. Now this particular time, they're coming very close. And that's just because of the alignment between them. They're not close in space. They're still hundreds of millions of kilometers apart from each other, but they're uh, in the sky. They appear as two points very close in the sky. And it's about a 10th of a degree apart. In fact, they're so close that if you take your pinky and you extend it at, your, at uh, arm's length, you'll be able to cover both planets with just your pinky finger. Now this is a rare alignment. This happens just about every 400 years. The last time it happened was 400 years ago uh, when the planets were this close in the sky. Mm -hmm. 